Okay, so uh, let's talk about the coronavirus. Um, watching Mr. Obvious, uh, he has a video, and he actually... I gotta get rid of that saying. Uh, this video is not for kids. This video is a very serious video. There will be no cursing, no cussing. But um, I'm going to come down and just say, um, recently there's been fights back and forth. Uh, we have uh, medical doctors on YouTube saying, hey, don't panic, but be cautious. Don't be anxious, you know, but we should be concerned. And I agree with that. However, I think we're approaching a threshold to where it's getting out of control. And when I mean it's getting out of control, recently I've watched videos from Mr. Obvious. He doesn't really go into this, but now he's been following up. What he found out uh, is the virus is possibly that it was man-made or a combination thereof. And it's out of hand. It's to the point... I saw recently videos of Chinese citizens being dragged in the boxes, being pulled off the street. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're being burnt. And people are going to be like, well, that's a little too insane. We cannot trust the Chinese Communist government. Period. The numbers of people that were on the Princess Diamond cruise in off of Japan rose from one person having the coronavirus within three days to 41 people. Now... This is where it gets really crazy. Korea just got uh, another group of people with the coronavirus that's spreading. Um, NTDTV is what I just watched. And they just published a video February 5th. I saw the video. Um, right now it's February 7th. The video. As much as I watched the one with Mr. Obvious where they're throwing people inside a cube and people are screaming... The NTD TV shows a video of a security a police guard in behind a camera scene, behind in a, in a secure area, watching the monitors go down with a mask, right? He just passes on the ground, starts breaking the seizures, right? This is just right out of Stephen King's The Stand. According to uh, what he found on Tencent, <coughs> and what he was able to translate was out of 154,000, 26,000 people, or I said 25, uh, yeah, 26,000 people have died. Now, that is a, from what he was able to go through, he basically went, you know, 25,000 to 150. That's a 16% fatality rate. Only 262 people survived. Now, he got this information. Uh, there was 5,000 people right now that are currently in critical condition. 262 people that are, you know, good to go, that are good to go. 90,000 people confirmed, and then a hun suspected 150,000 people that are, have the virus. But there's a total of 25,000 people that are dead. So, he went in and he pulled up uh, information and he was translating it uh, from Mandarin to English as best he can. But from what he explains in the Mr. Obvious video is that the Number is not 12% of people fatality rate. It's 16%. Um, the other thing is the Chinese government keeping their mouths quiet on this is only making it worse. And a very scary situation is if you watch the video on NTDTV, you'll see that people are actually falling down, breaking into seizures. Now, I'm a little panicked. All right, but you shouldn't be. Uh, I would be very much keep your eyes glued to this. I don't want to talk politics, but I think right now we need to be writing our politicians. If you're living in a liberal area, you need to tell them, hey, man, we need to close up the border. I think Mexico, uh, they're going to build a wall and against the United States side because I don't know if there's anyone with the coronavirus, but I hope Mexico does build a wall uh, on their side of the U.S.-Mexican border just because we don't know how dangerous the strain is. This is a virus. It does not care. And I think now people are like, well, that's just messed up and racist. If we don't have barriers or borders or anything to keep certain things from happening, we're screwed. And to give you an example how a barrier did save people's history from a virus, uh, there's a song called London Bridge is Burning Down, was falling down. London Bridge is Falling Down was actually 
uh, about the bubonic plague. That was the last epidemic of the bubonic plague in which the bridges of London burnt and it basically one of the islands of, uh, of England was isolated and it caught on fire and it just wiped out the last of the bubonic plague that was plaguing Europe. And it prevented uh, a full wipeout of Europe. But it saved a lot of people. Now everyone's going to tell me, oh, this is just messed up and racist. Look, forget that liberal BS. Right now we're dealing with something that is cataclysmic. Um, I don't really like to sound the alarm on this, but I'm just going to go ahead and call it. We need to get more serious on this virus thing. We need to do something about the potential destruction. We need to hold the politicians in, in, in New York, uh, in California, and all them. If they're not going to do something to protect against this next epidemic, then they need to be removed. And people are going to be like, why would you say that? I'm only saying it because this is going to become a FEMA-level event. This is a national, this, should, this is going to become in the next month or so, I'm calling a national security issue. This virus is not a joke anymore. It is spreading. Um, I looked it up trying to find out uh, if it was just spreading to Chinese. Turns out it's outside of Chinese, not just Chinese, Koreans, Japanese. Haven't heard any information on the European casualties or African or any other ethnicity for that matter, but I am very curious. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on what's going on in Singapore. Now, um, like I said, I had an ex-girlfriend that I disagreed with, but like I don't want anything bad to happen to her or her to be in that situation. And like I've asked, please get a hold of, if you got loved ones over in Japan, Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, China, Vietnam, Burma, Laos, Cambodia, India, you know, Pakistan, you know, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, you know, South Korea, Philippines, you know, get a hold of them. Find out what's going on. Uh, this is just, keep, keep, keep an eye out. You know, what I just saw with the guys in the video footage that is being leaked out of China only tells me it's very very, very serious. Normally, I wouldn't really freak out, but I'm a little concerned, just like other doctors online who are free sounding the alarm, because China, the Communist Party, the, the sheer arrogance and the stupidity uh, are not doing what they need to do. They're trying to suppress what's going on. So uh, I say this, we need to do something. We also need to shut down news media outlets such as Fox and all them saying we're being xenophobic and racist. I want those reporters from Fox, those journalists from these, these things saying that we're racist because we won't do this. I want them in China to get the coronavirus. I want them gone. This is a virus. This is science. I don't give two craps about your political or whatever your beliefs are. Science is a big dictator in this. I, this is not something I want to hear. All right. I don't give two craps. Anonymous, if you're out there, shut down Vox. Shut down these liberal idiots before they get really stupid. I'm sorry. I got liberal friends. I'm not here to put you down. But this is not being taken serious enough. This virus is like Captain Trips from Stephen King's The Stand. When you watch the videos and you see what's going on, you'll understand why it is unnerving. Now, please remain calm, obviously, be logical, but I think right now I could safely say, don't go to Los Angeles, don't go to San Francisco, steer clear of these places, steer clear of places such as New York, do not go near them, they don't do anything to take care of the homeless crisis, they're gonna, they've created a situation where if that coronavirus lands in there and spreads, it's going to be a very dangerous situation. Uh, be very careful. Uh, I'm not here to sit there and go off on a lot about it, but if the politicians aren't paying attention, we are doomed. Right now, I don't like CNN because they went on a stupid tirade saying that the uh, CDC wasn't diverse enough. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but unless you've got a degree in biochemistry, you don't belong there. This isn't the time to talk about 
color of the skin. It should be the time to talk about what are your credentials in this field. Okay, I don't care about whatever background, unless you have a science background and you know what's going on, I don't really care. The people who need to be doing this have to be the right people because this isn't a joke. What I just saw was very alarming. Watch the NDT, it's, it's NTDT video. It talks about the corona cases outside in China have risen. And you'll see video footage of what's going on. And it is disturbing to say nonetheless. We cannot live like this. We need to say something. This is out of hand. I normally don't want to go on some crazy tirade. But I am just nervous about this. This virus is insane. It's not slowing down. And I'm not here to put anyone down. I fear for the Chinese people, there are not going to be a lot of them left. I fear for the people because of stubborn leadership. I can't even call them leadership. They're under a dictatorship. And because of the dictatorship, they're going to try to hide this. It's not going to go well. Their, their, their power is, is giving up. So please, if you can, keep your eyes out. Pay attention. Read what's going on. Not everything that, that's being, there's a lot of things being suppressed. There's some good doctors telling you not to panic. There are other doctors who are sounding the alarm, and there's two cases of study on this. And the reason why I say the ones that are sounding the alarm, they're sounding the alarm because China has not been forwarded information. And that is a big problem. Um, I'm not here to sit there and cause panic, but I'm not going to lie. I am freaked out. Why? Because this thing is scary. What are we going to do against it when it gets here? And China has not been very forward. The strand, as far as we are know, may have mutated. And it may be worse.